Friends, welcome to Complin for Tuesday the 29th of September, which is the Feast of Michael and All Angels. And in the spirit of St. Michael, the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams, defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, we ask that be done through Jesus Christ your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. At Bible Light last Saturday, uh, we read through Psalm 121, and we spent a, a good hour reading and discussing and uh, talking about that very famous psalm. And it was amazing, really, how much we all got out of it, how much came out of it. Um, because it's quite short, as you know. Um, and all sorts of discussions and tangents were gone off at. Um, so I would commend Bible Light if you're not doing it on Zoom. It's very unthreatening. Um, uh, no one has to say anything. You can chip in if you want. Uh, Saturdays at 10 o'clock. Nigel has a link. Um, it's absolutely terrific. And uh, uh, if, like me, you arrive thinking, I don't know the first thing about this, um, it really helps. <laughs> and as I say, it's unthreatening and no one uh, is held out to be wrong. But tonight, I thought we'd say together Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the times past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning. For in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Show me the way, O Lord, that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path, to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth, and our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Friends, tonight we're going to read all of chapter 10 of John's Gospel, mostly because 
I think it's pretty difficult to split it up. Um, and I'm sometimes aware, you know, in the lecture sometimes where you read verses 1 to 4, 7, 19, 23 and 44 to 58. I just wonder sometimes what's being missed out and why. So rather than split chapter 10 of John up, I thought we'd spend a bit of time tonight, probably half of our worship tonight, reading the word in John chapter 10. Uh, so this is a lot of the I am sayings of Jesus. Jesus the Good Shepherd, and then his rejection by the Jews, and after this, when we meet again, we'll have got to the death and resurrection of Lazarus, Jesus' great friend. So, uh, initially at least, if you want to follow it through, grab a Bible, mine's the NRSV, and we'll read through John chapter 10 together. John's Gospel, chapter 10. Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So, again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my father. Again the Jews were divided because of these words. Many of them were saying, He has a demon and is out of his mind. Why listen to him? Others were saying, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? At that time, the festival of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you not be, do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What the Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. 
for which of these are you going to stone me? The Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because I said, I am God's son? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they had tried to arrest him again, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptising earlier, and he remained there. Many came to him, and they were saying, John performed no sign, but everything that said John said about this man was true, and many believed in him there. For the word of the Lord Thanks be to God. So friends, let's pray. It's October soon, loving Lord. As the year wheels around, and in this most uncertain of years, we thank you for the certainty of your love. In such a changing world, changing in terms of what we can and can't do in lockdown, changing our lives, changing our futures. We thank you for your changelessness. In this world of spirals and turns and twists, we thank you that you are a straight line that we can walk alongside and we thank you that you walk alongside us Lord in your mercy hear our prayer this coming Sunday the 4th of October is animal welfare Sunday, which festival is organised by the Anglican Society for the Welfare of Animals. We give thanks for the work of national and local animal charities. We give thanks to the people who give time to care for animals that don't have a home or that had a home and no longer do so. We're aware that all human and non-human animals are a gift of God. And we give thanks for the comfort and the companionship animals often bring to lonely people and the joy they bring to families and we wish a good and successful day for the Anglican Society for the welfare of animals this coming Sunday Lord in your mercy hear our prayer
we ask in the uncertainty over the situation of one of our students both in schools and in universities that some sort of clarity may emerge what they can and can't do the experience of their education that they have to undertake remotely rather than in person we pray that this may be a successful time for them despite all and we hold our education establishments and people who teach and people who maintain all these establishments we hold their work before God Lord in your mercy hear our prayer As the rain hides the stars, as the autumn mist hides the hills, as the clouds veil the blue of the sky, so the dark happenings of my lot hide the shining of thy face from me. Yet if I may hold thy hand in the darkness, it is enough. Since I know that, though I may stumble in my going, thou dost not fall. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And a prayer by Saint Ignatius. Loving God, I know what must be done. Only now am I beginning to be a disciple. May nothing of powers invisible or visible prevent me, that I may attain unto Jesus Christ. Come fire and cross and grapplings with wild beasts, the rending of my bones and body, come all the torments of the wicked one upon me. Only let it be mine to attain unto Jesus Christ. Amen. So we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. It's good to pray with you friends some beautiful readings tonight beautiful prayers what riches we have in our tradition to pray from and to offer back to our Lord God in praise and worship and so in closing we pray visit this place O Lord we pray and drive far from it the snares of the enemy May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace and may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. 
in the name of Christ.